Welcome back. Many people consider their animals to be part of their family, and at Chiha, it's no different. Fox 31's Colby Gallagher connects you to how the park says goodbye when one of their friends passes away. When an animal passes away, Chiha Wild Animal Park immediately begins the process of trying to piece together the puzzle of what happened. If we find an animal that's died, say, during the night, we don't know what caused it. We're going to be looking for clues as to what might have been the cause. And then that investigation goes right into what we call a necropsy. No matter what the circumstances, a veterinarian is called out to perform a necropsy or an animal autopsy to determine the cause of death. In rare cases where the signs point to nowhere, tests will be sent out to a lab. Employees say getting the answers provides closure while rounding out the cycle of care. And the necropsy is designed to do one thing. It's, it's, the, it's the completion of care for an animal. Zoo director Kevin Hill says their obligation to the animals doesn't end when their life ends, so they take each case very seriously. And although it's sad to see them go, Chihaw says studying the life of an animal after it's passed away only helps extend the lives of its remaining friends. Illnesses that could have affected other animals have been caught thanks to growing technology and the study into animal deaths. It is not uncommon for us to see animals living longer lives in zoos, and it's because of the information we've gotten from animals that have passed that have been within our care. The zoo then buries the animal on the park grounds to keep them close to home and figures out whether or not to adopt a new member. And because it's a natural cycle of life, Chiha says the money for all testing is budgeted into their daily care for the animals. Colby Gallagher, Fox 31 News.